Transvaginal Ultrasound TVS, is a powerful tool in the assessment of uterine abnormalities, revealing critical details about fibroids and associated structures. In this case, a 3-centimeter subserosal fibroid was identified at the uterine fundus. This round-to-oval lesion displays a hypoechoic echo texture with world pattern, hallmark traits of benign fibroids. What is particularly notable in this scan is how the fibroid projects outward from the uterine surface, gently displacing adjacent structures, yet maintaining a non-invasive relationship with them. Color Doppler Imaging enhances our understanding of blood flow dynamics surrounding these fibroids. The presence of a peripheral vascular ring indicates active circulation, reinforcing the benign nature of the lesion while also suggesting its potential for further growth. The central avascularity noted is typical, except in cases of degeneration or infarction, allowing clinicians to assess the stability and behavior of the fibroid effectively. When evaluating intrauterine devices, IUDs, such as the Marina, ultrasound provides clear visualization of their placement. The Marina IUD appears as a linear, hyperechoic structure within the uterine cavity, its arms properly positioned inside the endometrial cavity, while the stem resides in the lower uterine segment. This accurate positioning is crucial for ensuring the device functions effectively in its intended role, which includes, among other benefits, managing heavy menstrual bleeding. The uterus itself may present as normal in size or slightly enlarged, indicating its adaptive response to the presence of the IUD. The endometrial lining is observed as thin and uniform, attributable to the IUD's hormonal effects, specifically designed to mitigate conditions like dysfunctional uterine bleeding prognosis. For such cases remains optimistic. Small subserosal fibroids typically remain asymptomatic unless their size increases, or they start exerting undue pressure on surrounding structures. The vascularity seen at the rim suggests there is potential for growth. However, malignancy in this scenario is highly unlikely, warranting regular follow-up and monitoring. The use of the Marina IUD seems beneficial, as it aids in controlling bleeding symptoms and in maintaining a thinner endometrial lining, thereby potentially minimizing the need for surgical intervention. Overall, if the fibroid remains stable and the IUD continues effectively managing symptoms, the prognosis sails ahead as excellent. Only if symptoms worsen or complications emerge might surgical interventions become necessary, guiding further management strategies.